hello everyone welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be about recipe app that was built with react native and by the end of this tutorial you will know how to fit data from an api and also get to know the react native paper library so if you find this to be useful and interesting help me out by subscribing to the channel so with that said let's jump right in so let's initialize our project by typing expo init and name it as recipe app so in here we need to choose from the blank template it will start installing our javascript dependencies and also download the template as well so we can see our project is ready in here so we need to change the directory to the recipe app and also open that in vs code by writing code in a period there we go the maildb.com will be the source of our api where we'll be fetching our data from so let's visit that link you can see we have a variety of foods in here so let's head towards the api button and click on it there we go so here are the things you can test for you can search by name first letter random meals categories ingredients so in here we are interested in the category so let's copy that link and visit that so we can see it returns an array of objects with a unique id the thumbnail and also the category as well so let's copy the link above so in here let's import use state from react so basically use state returns an array of two parameters that's the current state and the function that manipulates the current state so in here we start with an empty array so the current state is the mail and the function as set mail that will be manipulating the current state so let's create a variable url and assign the link we just copied there we go so let's create a function for fetching our mails we are going to name that function as get mails it's going to be an asynchronous function so within the function we need to create a response variable and await and fetch the url above which returns the data back so we need to create a variable for storing the data by transforming the response into a JSON format. So we need to await response of JSON. Then finally, we need to use the set mills to set mills to the data we get back, which has a category on it. So we need to set the mills to data dot categories. We actually need to call the function somewhere else. So let's import use effect from react so use effect is basically used for rendering side effects in functional components so within the use effect it has a callback function and also a dependency array so within the function we just get our mails just like that there we go so to actually see this let First of all, log out our mails to see what we have so far. So console.log mails. And let's save the changes and check it out. There we go. You can see our data there. See, so these are the data we'll be fetching. Let's proceed. So let's run export for React Native Paper Library. So we need some few components from there in our project. So let's do so. Let's install React Native Paper. So 
So now that we have a successful installation of the React Native paper, let's import the app bar from React Native paper. So let's get rid of the test component and also the default stylings in here. So within the view, we'll be returning our app bar component. So within the app bar component, we have app bar dot content which is a self-closing component which takes in the prop of title and we're going to set the title to recipe app you can see our app bar right there with the title of recipe app so let's import the search bar component from react native paper so below the app bar is the search bar component so it takes in a placeholder property so let's set that to search here and it also takes in a value so we need the value from the user so let's create a state for that so the current state is going to be search query and the next one is going to be set search query and assign an empty string to it so it has an initial value of an empty string so here we give it a value of our search query below that we have the unchained test that's going to be triggered whenever we are searching something we are going to set that to unchained search which is a function which is a function i'll be creating it just right in so the unchained search takes in the query as a parameter and use the set search query to update it and pass in the query that's pretty much the function for searching so let's check that out there we go we have our search bar below the app bar let's proceed So below the search bar will be our scroll view. Don't forget to import the scroll view. Let's also import the card component and also our paragraph component. So within the scroll view, let's use some curly braces in here. So we take our mails, mails and map through. So mails.map will be having a particular mail, and for each mail, we'll be having an instant return of a card component. So whenever you map through a data, it should have a unique key. So you can see one and each chart in the list should have a unique key. So let's use the ID here as the unique key, which is called ID category. So within the code, we pass the key to the card component and set that to mail.id category. So within the card component, we'll be having the card.cover, which is a self-closing component. It takes in a source property. So let's check that out. So when we check from the browser, you can see it's from STL category thumb. There we go. You can see our mails, different random mails in here. So let's proceed. So below the card or cover, we'll be having card.content. So within the card.content, we'll be having our paragraph component, which we imported earlier. So within that, we'll be setting it to the description of that particular category. So we use mail dot and its name as STL category description. So let's copy that and set that to STL category description. Let's save the changes and check it out. There we go. You can see our description for each of the particular mail. We also need a title as well. So its name as STL category. So let's do that. So below the card.cover, we'll be having card.title, which is a self-closing component. So it takes in a title prop, and we are going to set the title to STR category. And that's pretty much it. So we can see the title of each category, food, the beef, the chicken, the desert, lamp, 
there we go different different categories and that's pretty much it if you find this to be useful and interesting consider subscribing to see more interesting build like this see you in our next tutorial until then stay tuned